news. The mass shooting in Colorado is not keeping people away from the new movie or theaters. Well, Mitch Weber is live at the Cinemark in Merriam, Kansas, where this evening's showings sold out. Yeah, many people came down here without advance tickets to see what could be the biggest blockbuster of the summer and one of the biggest movies in the Batman franchise. Now, while Aurora, Colorado is on their minds, they're not letting it scare them into staying home. The final installment of The Dark Knight will forever be tied to violence off screen, but that's not keeping fans from enjoying the film. I mean, this is America. You know, there's a couple nuts out there, but quite frankly, I'm going to go enjoy a movie. I think it was one of the best, yeah. Really? It had a, a lot of twists in it, like, you, 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 know, you would never expect the ending at all. But what moviegoers can expect at many theaters across the country this weekend, added security. Employees in there making sure the doors are shut and stuff like that. Making sure kept on coming in checking everybody out, so yeah. it was good. AMC theaters announced individual theaters will have the power to ban any costume that might make other moviegoers uncomfortable. I mean, I think the world's changed since, you know, since September 11th, but quite frankly, I mean, you just got to go out there and you got to live life and whatever happens, happens. Since we arrived just about 8 o'clock tonight, we've seen a patrol car circle this parking lot a few times. We talked to the officer, and he told us that it's just the normal routine that they do on a Friday night, but they have stepped up their patrol just a little bit tonight. Reporting live in Merriam, Kansas, Mitch Weber, 41 Action News.